I want to see if there is a big difference whether you're airing up a PCP air gun with a air compressor here or using an SCBA bottle. And with that said, I've been using this SCBA bottle from pretty much all my shooting with my PCP air rifles. And what I do is I air it up and leave it outside. So that way it gets to the relative temperature of outside. And most of the time I leave my gun in outdoor temperatures so that it matches the relative temperature of outside also for the air cylinder. In this video, I'll be using my Air Venturi 22 caliber Avenger with the regulator set at this outside temperature of 1800 PSI, two turns in on the hammer spring from back to all the way out using the 1589 grain JSB jumbo pellet. And I have my FX pocket crony gonna be running the whole time I'm shooting. With that said, how I'm gonna be testing it is I'm gonna degas this rifle and fill it up to a full fill of 3000 PSI with the SCBA bottle and I'm gonna shoot five shots at 50 yards. And then I'm gonna drain the air again and fill it back up with the air compressor and shoot five shots at 50 yards and capture the chronograph data doing so and see if there's a big difference downrange on paper. So let me get set up here and get this going for you to see which way to fill a PCP air rifle is better. And you're probably wondering why I didn't include the hand pump. The air compressor, while airing up the gun, heats the air up. The air, hand pump does the same exact thing. And nobody really wants to hand pump if they don't have to. Now I'm gonna hook up the Air Venturi Avenger to the SCBA bottle and air it up to 3000 PSI. Three thousand PSI with the SCBA bottle, guys. Let me get it on the bench and shoot five shots. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the regulator now. There we go. Okay, here we are at fifty yards after a fresh fill from an empty. Five shots. Got the FX pocket chronograph running. There we go. Let me empty it and fill it with the air compressor now and shoot five more. I have it hooked up to the hair compressor now. I'm gonna turn it on and let it run for a full fill up to 3,000 PSI. Okay, I'm gonna let the air compressor cool off. Three thousand psi again. I'm gonna go ahead and reset the reg. All right, let me get on the bench at fifty yards again. Another five shots. Here we go. Bill Filled up again at 3,000 PSI, but with the air compressor.
Well, there's five shots down range. And from the looks of it, there isn't too much difference. Now in the chronograph, I was getting like 850s from filling up with the SCBA bottle. And right now it was reading around 830. So, so here is my downrange target with the Air Venturi Avenger. Again, 1800 PSI on the rig. Two turns in on the hammer spring. JSB 1589's car magazine shooting at nine power on the scope this time at 50 yards and you can see this group right here can easily be covered by a dime five shots covered by a dime at 50 yards easy now that's with the SCBA bottle and why is that significant well the SCBA bottle I fill it and then let it stay outside to get to the relative temperature of outside. Whereas the air compressor fills the gun up and heats up the gun as it's airing it up. And you can see the way the group printed here side to side and then I had an outside here. But these wanted to cluster nice. So again, this is from the air compressor with the hot air in the gun. And from the looks of it, filling the gun up It's just a hair above the 1800 PSI mark on the regulator, which could be the reason why I was getting lower feet per second shots because the pressure being more in the reg for that two turns in on the hammer. When the pressure is up and that hammer has to hit it, it's not going to be releasing that much air resulting in lower velocity. Whereas on the other end, if the regulator pressure was more down, say less than 1800, like 1600 at two turns in on the hammer spring from back all the way out, you'd be shooting at a really high velocity compared to 830 to 850 here. So everybody, I hope you see the big difference here, whether you're filling with an air compressor or an SCBA bottle. So I appreciate you watching as always and see you on the next one.